program, whole block road repairs, bids, and the engineer's recommendation. Sean? Sure. Uh, yesterday, I, email, I emailed all of you uh, our bid review and our recommendation for award letter. Also, asked Bobby to get into all your packets for uh, yesterday. Hoping you all had a chance to uh, look over the, the, the first one. Sorry. Thank you so much. No worries. <coughs> yeah, so I'm uh, hoping you all had an opportunity to review the letter and the uh, attachments to it. If not, uh, I'll quickly summarize. Uh, before I do that, though, Bobby, was there something you wanted to read? Yes, there is, and I, uh, you know, Mr. Lawson just handed this to me, and I would like Gary's opinion on this. Um, we've had for the last two meetings um, statements from residents on public comment. Certainly don't want to miss that, but what is the, does that regular get to put it to read it, up to read public comment? It's chairman's discretion. Okay, so I just wanted to be careful on that. Thank you for bringing it to me because that was, we want to make sure we hear everybody's comments prior to voting, but is there a better way to do that when we're getting these at the last minute? Does anybody have an option? <coughs> okay, so we certainly always, a discretionary, discretionary thing, yes, we want to read it, but I don't know that we always remember to do that. The only that. way it wouldn't be last minute is if the agenda went out earlier, but since the public got the extended at 4.30, it's going to be last minute. So it's never going to be earlier than the agenda. So regardless of what the comment is, so yeah, so this was dated today, so our agenda was put yesterday. Um, well, maybe we can... Well, the, the, the uh, letter I put for you guys kind of addresses that. Well, and, if you anyways. wouldn't let me jump around, if the board doesn't mind, I want to like to read this public comment. And, um, Bobby, I don't know, maybe you can put this on the, as an agenda item for the future that we can discuss how we can better do this so we don't ever miss public comments that come in on a, write, on a writing format. So. This was sent today at 12.56 p.m. Um, and, I'm sorry, no, but I take that back. It was sent today at 12.50 p.m. Secretary responded to our resident and said, this statement will be presented to the supervisors for the 5.30 meeting. So, the statement is from Miss Lori, or excuse me, Dr. Lori Kennedy. She said, please have this read at tonight's meeting. I was present at the 12 o'clock noon meeting that was held to open the bids for the coal block road. There were only two bids that came in and this and there was over a two hundred thousand dollar difference between the two bids. In my opinion, since there was such a discrepancy, neither bid should be accepted. If both bidders are considered reputable, there's no way Slu Sarchek and um, can underbid by such a large amount. My fear is that we will end up with overrun after overrun. Again, I'm asking that both bids are rejected and the bid process begin again. Thank you, Dr. Lloyd. <coughs> Thank you so much for the comment, and I'm sorry 